Hello yes, welcome to your behaviours questions mark scheme. We'll get straight started straight away. Question one, so hopefully just make sure you've identified all of these things correctly. You've got the unconditioned stimulus, which was the loud noise, the unconditioned response, uh, which was the fear. So the unconditioned stimulus, the natural thing to be afraid of was the loud noise. The thing that you developed a fear of was the, uh, that you uh, demonstrated the natural response to a loud noise was fear, jumping. Uh, the neutral stimulus, was, um, which was associated with the unconditioned stimulus, was the balloon. Uh, and eventually the balloon becomes the condition, the learned stimulus, which leads to the learned response of fear. Allow a maximum of two marks for a correct diagram with no explanation. So you could get two marks for just writing that without writing any explanation, but you could easily access the other marks. But just remember that diagram there is something you could consider. You would explain, the woman has learned through association to fear the balloon, classical conditioning, association, the ass in classical, and the ass in association. The unconditioned stimulus, the loud noise, which can um, cause the unconditioned response of fear, was paired with the neutral stimulus of the balloon. So there you're showing off your knowledge. The unconditioned stimulus, um, which caused the unconditioned response, was paired with the neutral stimulus of the balloon. The balloon becomes the conditioned stimulus and elicits, causes, the uh, conditioned response of fear. Okay. And then you get credit for the following points. So I've just broken it down for you. That's roughly how you'd want to structure it and word it. That's all the correct um, sort of order um, um, names for everything. And then finally, the way you credit it, you get one mark for referencing to the balloon as the neutral stimulus when unburst. I'm worried too much about that. One mark for the reflex, normally a loud noise, says so bang, causing f causes fear. So one mark for making reference to that, and one mark for the association between the balloon and the bang uh, slash bursting as well. So one mark for the new learning that the balloon alone now elicits the fear response. So one mark for referencing the balloon as the neutral stimulus, one mark for making reference to the unconditioned stimulus and unconditioned response, one mark for talking about associating um, the balloon with the unconditioned stimulus, and then one mark for talking about the new learning, the balloon causing the fear response. Um, and then you get two, uh, question two, you get marks here for Skinner's work, you could talk about Skinner's work, uh, Skinner's box, you could mention that it was a controlled environment, the, la the rat pressing the lever uh, leading to the food which causes positive reinforcement, the rat pressing a leader, uh, lever which stops an electric shock, so explaining why that's negative reinforcement, and of course you'd explain why. So. The rat press and the leader leads to uh, lever leads to food. So the positive re the positive is the food being added. The reinforcement is the behaviour being increased of the lever pressing, and then the negative reinforcement. The electric stop shocks, which is taking a stimulus away, and um, reinforcement is the the behaviour that's being increased is the rat pressing a lever. Okay. So if you talked about any of those things, then you get you get marks for those as well.